Welcome everyone to Market Mornings brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. This update is for Thursday, the 20th of April, 2023. Let's go ahead and dive right in. So as we get started here, keep in mind that everything we look at is for educational purposes and nothing's meant to be advice or recommendations. If you like anything that you see here, make sure you follow along, keep up with all the content that we put out there, subscribe on YouTube, ring that bell, go over to TradingLikeABoss.com and check out all of our free resources that are available. All right, with that, let's dive in. All right, so we've got uh, a sea of red again with the exception of gold. So what a way to start off the day. The S&P is down 27. The Dow is down 128. NASDAQ's down 121. RUT's down 16, we'll call it. Bitcoin, woo! Not only is it under 30,000, it's under 29,000 now. So 28.875. Ethereum is down 28 to 19.55. They broke 2K. Gold's the only green up $8 and crude, yeah, baby, taking the train down or the elevator, uh, 78.10 down another dollar fifteen, right? Which just means is OPEC going to go ahead and cut production yet again, right? We look at the upcoming futures, uh, economic reports rather. Uh, I had this set up last evening for our monster market movers where we looked at all the reports just to show how to use uh, Forex Factory. So today we have da, 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 unemployment claims, Philly Fed, both at 8.30. We've got home sales at noon, right? We've got a couple of speakers today yelling, open mouth and shirt foot, two FOMC members. And that's all you know throughout the day. And then at 9.45 this morning, so markets are open when the PMI comes out. So that's a big report, one the Fed focuses on, so make sure you're paying attention. All right, with that, we will jump into the charts and take a look. S&P 500. So we're pushing up, we're pushing up, we're pushing up. And we're getting some hesitation, not surprising. We're getting up near that 40, uh, 4181 level right there, that major fib line that we've got. We pulled back, bounced off of the 8 yesterday for some uh, period of time. And right now, we're back down again on the S&P. So are we going to hold? Mm, not sure. Right, That 8 moving average of 4132.75 is the first key level to the downside, assuming we break through, which we have. Uh, this 4144 level, we've already broken through that uh, and heading down towards that 8. Right, AA, which is Alcoa, the unofficial start of earnings season, is right there. So let's see. Do, 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 do. A little bit of an older fib. I don't have anything great to draw it on on the upside, you know, newer than that. So Alcoa came out with earnings. So today is the day. They're down $1.31 on their earnings. It puts them at $39.91. So just above that $39.56, we're going to look at a bear call spread above uh, da, 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 42 and a half. We have 50 cent increments there. BBWI, they got a downgrade. They're already in a bearish bias. I like me some downgrade here. Uh, they're down $1.31, same as AA, actually, dollar amount. Uh, they're down at $34.29, just above our fib line. So we're going to look at a bear call spread above 36 on BBWI. Let me just give you a, a full view of the fib. There you go. IBM, earnings for them. Uh, IBM's earnings are good. They're one of the few that are up today, $2 to the upside. Uh, they're probably keeping the Dow from being down much much further than they are, but they're up to 128. Now they had an overall bearish bias, right? They're up to 128. Do you see what that did? You see what they are? You see where they moved to? 128.02, we're at 127.86. They're right at the fib line. Next, it's good news. I just don't know if it can sustain the bearish move today and that overall bearish move that we've had on IBM. LRCX is next. They are up $4.48 on their earnings. Uh, $500 stock. They're at four ninety five and a half. dollars So guys, we're still at a point. Uh, actually, we need a 500 level on there. Oh, let's see. Let's try that again. All right. So we're still at a point of where we're located in relationship to, come on, what are we doing here? Give me my line, come on, we're on live TV here. Dash dot, 
making it some red and turn it to 500. All right. So we're up for 495.50. We haven't broke the 500. We haven't broke the 504 and a half level. Uh, we're going to say next. Right? I would need a whole, I'd need to get above that four, 504 level for me to want to look at this at all. Right? LVS, Las Vegas Hens. Rob, why don't you weed these guys out before you come on here? Nope. Because then all you get to see is me do the good stuff. You don't ever see when I make a decision of no, we don't want this candidate on there. Much more important to say no than it is to say yes. So L, uh, LVS is up uh, 260 to, we'll call it 62 bucks. Uh, and that's on their earnings. Now they're in a bullish bias. I like it. So it puts them up at 61.96. We're going to look at a bull put spread below 60. All right, then we have Nucor and UE. And new. Uh, they're down $2.60 uh, on earnings. It puts them to 145. Well, they're in a bearish bias. I like it. So 145, they've got support at 142. 42 to 50, uh, we'll call it 43 to 55, 12. All right, so we really need to split this level in half. So let's go ahead and add in a negative 136, and then we're also going to need the 118. Uh, let's edit that. So we'll add these two fib lines in, and that'll help us see better on the chart. 118. All right, so right now we're at 145. We're looking at a bear call spread above 149. SCHW, right, which is Schwab. So they got a downgrade. They were in a neutral bias yesterday. As long as I could break that 53.57, I'm interested. They are at 54.50. So not really. So here's what we need on the stock uh, and options detail. I need the stock below 53. Uh, we're going to make it 52 and a half. Then retest on the 53. Then we're going to look for a bear call spread above 54. All right, so this one's close. Give me a little more push down. Retest and fail, and I'll consider the entry. Here we go. My fave of the day, Tesla. It is on earnings, and they were not good. They are down uh, almost 12 bucks right now on Tesla on their earnings. They already were in a bearish bias, which was awesome, right? Why is it awesome? Because it went further down today and just reiterates that bearish entry. So we're looking at 168.73. We'll call it 169. Woo, baby. So a little tight. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put a bear call spread above 171. Aggressive. Why aggressive? A little too tight. Big move. We're right up at near that fib level, right? Or an option trade, a long option, right? Is it a call or a put, Rob? Yes, it's a call or a put. It all depends on what the market does. If we get a bounce off a key level, you know, we, we move up to the 171, we bounce and take off, I'll consider an entry of a put. If we retest the 171 and fail, I am all over. Uh, I mean, I'm in a call if it bounces up. If it fails, retest the 171 and drops, we're looking at a put on that trade day. All right, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Make it a profitable day. Stay focused on the quest to becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you're just one trade away. Take care, and I will see you tomorrow to wrap up the week. All right, bye for now.